That can be gotten through pretty okay, as you guys can see. This is what I've completed since getting back on. And right now I'm 700 of 1,275 of getting, you know, the next object, which is this, which is Armor Ace. Uh, large Vault Tech Supply Package. Um, plus getting a couple more of these. I would love to make it around to getting this, which is 150 more atoms, which goes from 260 that's 150, it's going to be 370, um, which would be even closer to that 500 mark, even closer to the 1000 mark when I want to get it. Uh, I did spend 150 of my atoms because I put it on the scoreboard, I was checking out to see how that worked. But we're going to get in and I'm going to show you guys how to level a little bit faster in Fallout 76 um, to help get your levels up to that next weapon that you are needing, uh, the levels for or the armor you're trying to get the levels for, and stuff like that. Now, you're not going to go from level 1 to level 50 in one day, but you'll easily make it like 10 one day, maybe 10 the next day, and make it a total of 5 days if you guys do this grind correctly. <clears throat> so, first things first, you're going to click Adventure. If you're not playing with a squad, you can do this... Semi-solo, but it'll take a little bit longer, but it's better to do this in a squad, so even if you're a solo player, form a squad, you don't have to roll with that squad, but you're using the squad method to get the extra XP, and I'll show you guys that in a second, why I'm saying that. Um, just like other Fallouts, there's a certain perk that gives you extra XP per kill, um, and I'm not officially talking about a perk card at the moment, I'm talking about an actual perk. When you up that level, you gain a little more XP for kill. Um, you want to have that as the team selected, and which is casual. Um, it'll say casual on the little icon, but below it, I believe it says intelligence. Um for a team so more people you have in a team the more intelligence you get so you'll click on that one and then you're going to set up a certain perk card and then start looking for a little bit of higher level enemies make sure you're playing with someone that has a higher level so when you're wanting to level you're actually able to go and hit them and he kills the enemy and then you gain the xp but you have to at least make sure you get one hit on the enemy that he kills so that way you gain the XP. If you don't let, if you don't get the hit, you won't get the XP. That's one thing that was around for a while, but now they added it to make it so you can level a little bit faster. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So right now, if we're in game, I got my two-shot explosive AK. We're doing pretty okay, but we are going to go to the pause menu. We're gonna click R1. And then we're going to go over, over, and you're going to see this right here. Create new team. There's no public teams yet on this server. That's great. I'll be the first one. You're going to click on it, and then you're going to see this right here. It says public team benefit bonus intelligence, and it's casual. When you click on that, it'll create the public team. It alert everyone on this server a new public team was made, so if they want to join it, they can. You guys can see what their demonic plays. Leader, level 125, I believe. Yep. Um, now, we're going to be getting a little bit more XP per kill. Let's up that XP amount one more time, and I'm going to show you guys how to bring this XP per kill up even more. You're going to worry about your perk at this point. So you're going to press triangle, don't worry about picking a perk, unless you don't have it, then you can go get it. But he is giving me escape artist. We don't want that. Um, we can let him do that, which is sneak, but the biggest thing we're going to want to do is there is a perk under here, under charisma, which is inspirational. When you are on a team, gain 15% more XP. Share this with your entire team so anybody joining you you're going to gain more xp but right now you can see where it says casual on the left casual team with a drink right next to that it says one times bonus if we have four people in here that's a four times bonus and this will be what helps you guys get a lot more xp so the more people you get in this squad overall is going to give you a whole lot more xp so it still says one times but that's because weepo here has to uh level a blue bar which you guys don't get to see just at yet at the moment 
but when that bar gets connected, it will become times two. Alright, let me go to my settings as well and switch it from where I'm talking to everyone to just to the squad, just to make sure. Uh, we're going to go to game. No, not game. Audio. I'm an idiot. Audio. Team. Do you have a mic, Weepo? I guess not. But you guys can see right above Weepo's name now and his level, which is 221, there is the blue bar filling up. The more enemies he kills, that will fill. When that bar fills all the way up, it will turn to a times two bonus. And for some reason, my thing is saying I'm speaking in party now, but it's constantly displaying over area. So I might have to re-log, but that's fine. So, yes, guys, that's what you're going to do. Um, now, the more people we get with that blue bar filled all the way up, the better. And we can have only up to four people, which means we only get a times four bonus. But it's better to get all four if possible. Weepo, how you doing, man? Do you got a mic? He probably doesn't. Alright. One little place you guys can come for power armor if you're new to the game. Uh, this would be kind of the lower level power armors unless there's a lot of, you know, high levels around that has a chance at spawning T60. Because I had T60 spawn yesterday. I had to pull those pieces off for Wildcat. But you guys can come right down here. It's in this little itty bitty square right here where you see my marker. Um, and you're going to come to this building. One thing to be careful with, be very careful, because there are traps, as you guys can see. There is a frag mine. Not only is there a frag mine, but if it's not been set off, there's going to be... Let me see if I can go to first person to show you. So right here, if I turn my lantern on, you'll see this. There is a uh, trap thing right here that does this. Which I just set off, so we're good. Now we're going to run in, get the frag mine to go off, and come outside. Now we're good. And oh! <laughs> Such timing. Alright. <clears throat> Power armor can spawn in this stand right here, guys. So this is what I was trying to show you guys and tell you about. Um, this time it didn't spawn. Which means somebody already grabbed it. Which I don't know why they would be traps here if someone grabbed it. I guess the traps respawn and the armor didn't yet this time. But that's fine. So armor can spawn on this stand. So do take a look at it. Sometimes you do have to loot around because I've looted two been? things here and came back and the armor was there. So give it a second and see if the armor does spawn in for you. But this is where the uh, armor will be. I thought you were <clears throat> dead. Uh, no, I was not dead. I was asleep, guys. I slept all day for some reason. Yep, and somebody already grabbed this. So this is where a fusion core can be, guys. And it's just right outside of the uh, area I'm telling you guys to get the power armor. A fusion core can spawn right here. You guys can grab that and you'll have yourself one free extra, you know, fusion core. Which is noise. So yeah, you guys will be able to do that. And get yourself some power armor. Get yourself uh, the stuff to start leveling a little bit faster. And make sure you're fighting some higher level enemies. And you guys will see right here with me being here that are level 50. Um, on other areas, they will reach level 100, but let's go ahead and kill this guy and watch how much XP I get per kill. Uh, actually, I would love to get Weepo to get the times 2, Put but here's just the times weapon. 1. There's 252 XP right there, and that's just on the times 1. Whenever he gets a times 2, that XP will double... And, well, not double. I'll say it'll go to, like, maybe 180 to, well, 280 to, like, 300 XP per kill on just a level 50. And then if I go kill a level 100, that's, like, four or 500 XP just right off the rip, even for someone who's already a level 125. So, yeah. The XP does work, and then... If Weepo, say we were going against level 100s, he wasn't, you know, that strong. Maybe he's a level 200, he played for a while, but he didn't really test around with builds, didn't, you know, do anything. And I'm not saying you didn't, Weepo, I'm just saying if you didn't, if, is the key word there, Weepo. But, um, I would be able to let him melee or shoot 
an enemy one I time, going to and then I get killed. You, later, GN. you sleep well. Good night, too. Sorry, Weepo, I'm kind of streaming, man. Using headphones so I can hear you better. Alrighty. Let's see. Ooh, 923 subs, boys. We're gone up in the world. I'm going to bed. Talk to you later. Good night. Talk to you later, uh, Hellrider. When you wake up, man, I might still be on Fallout 76 if you want to join. Uh, Kimberly, using headphones so I can hear you better. Oh, okay. Thank you, Kimberly. Let's see. But yeah, so that's what we're kind of doing, guys. And for a lot of new players who doesn't know the game, they're going to have a little trouble doing this, which is fine. Now, the perk you might not have. So if you join a squad who has the perk, see if they can run it for you. If they don't, it's okay. Um, you're still going to be getting, you know, an extra bonus towards your casual team. And you're getting the bonus towards... Uh, killing higher levels if they do let you run that with them and, and do let you hit first So you'll still be able to do that, but here we go Here's a times two bonus and we're gonna run it on a level 50 scorch 257 There's another 257 so two scorched is about like 500 XP almost close to it Ooh, and we're about to get a three times bonus too, because Juggle Scorpion just uh, joined the squad. Noise. When he kills, he kills a little bit and puts the uh, blue bar all the way up. We'll have a three times bonus. Right. Hi. Oh. Colton, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome back to the streams. I should be saying Colton. And how you doing, Colton? It's been a while since I've heard from you, man. Ooh. I heard a ghoul. Good what about you? Uh, Colton, good. What about you? Colton, I'm doing good, man. Thanks for asking. Ooh. Why does it look like he's been held up by a movie reel? <laughs> I, you could see the four holes there. And it looks like a movie reel, just like a cartoon version of a movie reel. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask that. I'm not too worried about gathering some of the items right now, guys. I got a lot of scrap already. So I'm not really too much worried about scrap right now. But if you guys do need scrap, uh, go to the Discord that's linked below if you guys play Fallout. And there is a tab in the discord that'll tell you guys the main stuff that you do want to grab and scrap and store so yes i do have a tab for that in the discord and i'm gonna plop back into party so these guys don't get annoyed by me <clears throat> and wow, my voice I won't start a party with the fallout chat, shall we? Now, I should be speaking in party, but it's quite weird that it still says like area chat is going on. Uh, that, that's a fat rip in the chat boys, but it's all good. Um, Juggalo here has almost got his bar up to doing that. But I wanted to show you guys how to make public parties and how to allow people to get more XP per kill. 
uh, especially for the new people that is trying to level. That's the best way. <clears throat> that's the best way you can do it. Oh, big boy! You kind of missed, buddy. Two hundred and noise. Two hundred and fifty more uh, XP. Oh, come on, yeah. There's two dead, one more left. Actually, more than just one more. Ooh, that was a close one. 260 XP for that now. As you guys can see, oh, no, we don't let you touch me. Don't let you touch me either. 261 per kill now. Whoa! I did not know you were there, buddy. That close to me. I thought you were, like, still over there somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hello, buddy. I guess this is free hug stream one. Oh. Come on. Don't run inside the tavern. Come on. Come on out. Ah, boy. We're just going to kill you and keep doing that, boys. Kill these ghouls. You noise. So, yeah, guys. That's what we're doing. We're just going around leveling today. Um, not really much special, but that's kind of how you do it, guys. It's fairly simple. I got two levels now in front of you guys. Um... And that's pretty much all we're going to be doing, guys. Oh, actually, I need to go to weapons. So that way, I can do that. I didn't want this, but reduce your target's, you know, damage output for three seconds. And that's, I think, per hit as well. So, I mean, it's not that bad. And then damage is 40, which is actually terrible. But, I don't know. It's something that someone could have if they don't have any starred weapons. It's something I could, you know, start them out with, which is kind of okay. But that's a yikes at level 50 if you don't got a starred weapon by then. Alright. <clears throat> so that, my friends, is how you level quick, uh, faster, I should say. Now, we're going to go show you guys, like, someone who doesn't have the card build, how they can still gain the XP, which, actually, I don't think other people are as nice as me, to be honest. But, I do have a low-level character that I do want to start leveling. So, let's go ahead and get that, oh, <clears throat> That ghoul was like, oh, hi, bro, I'll sneak. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, bro, I'm, so I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Run away. That's how this ghoul is right now. Boy, you shouldn't have tried to sneak up on me. That was the worst thing hey, you could have done. Lunatic Vampire, what's up, Luna? What's up, my son? How you doing? How's my son doing today? Oh, and, uh, son, do you have Fallout 76? Because if you do, I'll let you carry me on my low-level character. Hi, Luna. <laughs> Kimberly, hi, Luna. <clears throat> oh, and guys, I'm jumping really high because I got marsupial. Um... Oh, and one more thing I want to get out of the way. No, I don't. Even for the people that's not new to the game, if you guys have the stuff for me to craft you the serums, instead of having to pay 20,000 caps per serum to 15,000 if you're running the proper uh, skill tree setup, I'll give it to you for free as long as you give me the stuff to craft the serum for you. So, for instance, hold Downloaded. on, let me... Doing good? No, I don't. Uh, I don't, well, first, like, when he says he don't, he might mean he doesn't own it. So, 
he might have to buy it. So it's another one of those games he might have to buy, unless he does own it, and then he just has to download it. Um, let's see. We are gonna... Oops. I almost left the server, because I was thinking about my little character. Yep. Oh, I know. Alright, Kimberly. But, um, Lenotic is going for... Da not Daisy. He's going for... Uh, Rainbow Six first, and then we'll see about him getting some Fallout 76. But, we're gonna go to my base, guys, right quick, which you guys have to swim out of towards the right, and then kind of, you know, jump around to make sure you don't get stuck. There you go. <clears throat> Yeppers. Do this. Collect my water. Yeah. Also got melons, which I'll go and collect as well, because these things are actually really good. Gourds. Gourd. Melon. Melon. <laughs> melon. Melon. I made me a melon farm, guys, because I love the watermelons in this game. They give food and they give water. So that's why I get that's why I go for the watermelons. But Girls. For those guys who Scanning. want serums, Scanning. just let me know if you're on Not PlayStation. Uh, send me your gamer tag and uh, or add me, which you guys will see my gamer tag in a bit. But uh, if I go right here, you guys can see mutation serums, and I have adrenaline. Uh, I, I basically have all of them, but I think like maybe carnivore and herbivore. Those are the only ones I don't have because I didn't think of like people wanting to go towards the carnivore only or the herbivore only serums but i got unstoppable isotope serum twisted muscle serum speed demon serum skelly skin serum plague walker serum marsupial serum mm -hmm. herd mentality mm -hmm. serum healing factor serum electrical don't. charge serum egghead serum chameleon serum yeah. bird bone serum and adrenal reaction serum so if you guys need any one of those just let me know and you guys just got to get me the stuff to craft it which is antiseptic, plastic, ultra sight, and the different fluxes. So it'll be like cobalt flu uh, pure cobalt flux, pure violet flux, uh, pure violet flux for that one, pure crimson flux, pure yellow cake flux, pure cobalt, pure crimson, pure violet. So yeah, if you guys get and pure f uh, fluorescent flux as well, guys. So as long as you get me pure violet flux, if you're needing like unstoppable isotope or like you know. Uh, certain things. I'll tell you guys which flux I need for if the pure I'm flux. If you're feeling better, I'll play <laughs> TMW. If you're feeling better, you'll play tomorrow. All right, Kimberly. Gotcha. So yes, um, you guys will need to pay me in the violet flux in order for me to craft the I items for you. But I have it all right here. No, <clears throat> pay really? me in antiseptic I'm as well. For their safety. I'm not too worried about plastic, because plastic is easy to get, so just pay me an ultrasight, antiseptic, and the pure cobalt of the form that, well not pure cobalt, but pure flux of the form I need to craft it for you, and I will be able to craft you guys out the, uh, <clears throat> the serums. I haven't run a nuke zone in a long time, and that's why I have not got, uh, the fluxes. But also, the fluxes do expire if you don't craft them into the pier. Oh, yeah. And I oh, usually I like to stay I in nuke zones for the entire time. time the nuke is up, and sometimes some of the flux kind of expires. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you guys are needing serums, just let me know, and I'll do that, but... We're going to quickly, you know, hit quits. We're going to quit to main menu, yes. And we're going to trade over to my lower level character. And we're going to try to do some XP stuff for you guys and some other things. Now, my lower level character doesn't have much on him. So, that's a fat rip. But we're going to go ahead and click on Ranger Alexis here, which is my low level character. We're going to click play and we're going to click adventure. Which, I do need to level this character, that's why I've been kind of wanting to get on this game more, <clears throat> is to level. Hold on.
is to level this character. Now, I have played this character a little bit on the stream, but I ended up changing it during that same stream to play my higher level character because everyone was wondering what my main character's level was. So I switched over to my main to show that, and I played on my main to help some friends out. But then after that, I wanted to plop back into my lower level character and level it, but I, forg I just didn't get around to it. So we're going to do that today. Let's level it a little bit more. <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Let's get the public teams going. Oh, I'm going to try to find another world, I guess, because <clears throat> someone decided to take my camp location on this server. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I said it like that kind of weird, but come on, man. You don't look at streamers or don't like take over locations people have already taken. <clears throat> And I get maybe on this server or the server you done it on, it wasn't taken. But that's my base location. I wanted kind of like a swampy, kind of like old ho old homestead kind of feel to it. And, you know, done it that way. But there are other things that could be done. Yes, I could have moved my base, but... If I move my base, I can't guarantee that I'll have all four of my water purifiers or everything that you've seen around with the same build type. I'd have to go with a different build type, which could change up a lot of the crafting stuff and hoopla. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's a fat rip. Um, try to find another world, I guess. Again. Like, how many people are taking my fucking location? Jesus fuck. King Christ, there was none yesterday taking my thing, none in the past, and now people are just taking my location like it's the best fucking farmland in the world. Christ almighty, that makes two for two now. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, 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 I'm on my low-level character. That base building is not, uh... At the top right of the map. That's actually right next to a known location. My bad, guys. I was thinking I was playing my main character. Nah, this is my alt. <clears throat> so with that said, I can move my alt stuff to be in a good location. But I kind of wanted this location. It's one of those locations that Hello. is really simple and easy to take, like, take and hold. Because not many things attack it. Here we go. Oh, oh! I'm like, why am I all the way down here on the map? Christ, a flipping mighty! Give me one second. <clears throat> I need to be up here at my camp. So yeah, guys, I'm near the main area of the map. I don't think it'll stop me from teleporting if I move around. If it does, I'll just restart it and stand still. Yoink. <clears throat> Nicely done. I have food in front of me as well, guys. I'm literally just sitting here like I'm talking. I don't want you guys to hear on the mic. I'm drinking some stuff, and I just have not touched my food because of that. Like, I might eat after stream, which I'm having spaghetti and parmesan with some garlic bread. Hmm. Oh, it put me all the way over here this time. That's quite weird. But as you guys can see, you don't get the super high jump with a normal character. So that's why I said if you guys need it, just pay me in the stuff that crafts it, and I will craft it for you. <clears throat> but pretty much, we're going to go up top here. This is my little base for this guy. Um, it's out of the way, kind of has a castle kind of feel to it. <clears throat> And stuff like that. There's not much to it. I don't even have purifiers yet on it. But let's go ahead and Where's set mine? this squad up. Kimberly, where's mine? <laughs> Kimberly, you're sick. You need to, uh, you know, take it easy and rest in bed. But create, we're going to go to casual. Easy. 
a low-level guy is making a casual team. Now, we're going to check my perks, which I already know I don't have it, <clears throat> as you guys can see. And it was under Charisma, which we have no perk for Charisma and GG. But yeah, we have no perk for Charisma, that's fine. We got Lead Belly, ra uh, less radiation from that. I know. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be quite weird. Okay, now, I said I know. So yeah, guys, um, pretty much we don't have much on this character. As you guys can see, I can go in the inventory here and go to item. So we only have the combat knife, and we have the outfit I'm wearing. Not really any armor, sadly. Actually, am I? Do I have armor? Yeah, I do. I have leather armor. Uh, just just the... chilling in stream. Those two. All right, let's see. Do I have the stuff to craft more leather armor? Uh, not an armor stand in here, is there? Unless it's like over here. I had burritos, salsa, and extra cheese. Crayf. Yeah, burritos and salsa and extra cheese. Oh, noise, the Nordic noise. All right, so we're gonna go with light armor, and you guys can see I can't craft it. I need leather. Um, <clears throat> and I want to get it at level fives. Unless I happen to get way higher in level, but yeah, we got just that stuff. Not too good of stuff. Uh, alright, let's see. This is what we look like, guys. I know it's weird. I wanted to see how, this gogg how these goggles looked. I thought I'd feel like Sam, like Sam Fisher, but... That, that was a that's that's a nope. It's more like a robotic Sam Fisher, <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> nice. All right, but yeah, guys, we're gonna have to get our character leveled. Sadly, I'm only gonna get one times the XP because nobody on the server wants to join a level fives community. I no one. Um, it's kind of sad, but. That's also console. Maybe there's better people <clears throat> on PC or maybe even Xbox might have some better people, better players, better, you know, community going towards it than PlayStation does. But right now on PlayStation, this game hardly, you know, has a lot of low-level characters anyways in it because, you know, people were scared of buying it after everything and stuff like that. But <clears throat> as you guys can see... Uh, some people are already probably, you know, in regular teams and stuff like that with the higher levels. Because most of the people that play this that's new to the game isn't going to be like me where we're just trying to go out and get anyone. They're going to be players that come in because someone told them to buy the game or game shared it with them. Which already has a friend that's a high level and they're going to roll in their own groups. So... It's kind of hard to find a lot of new players that are actually legitimately new, that just bought the game, that didn't buy it because of higher levels. Or someone who is not an alt. Oh, that's a GG. <clears throat> there we go, 30 XP per kill. Not bad, not bad. It could be better, but that's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, it could be way better. It could be 100 XP, it could be 400 XP, but... Ah, 30 XP, not bad. I mean, they're lower levels because I'm a lower level, so the animals are going to be lower levels spawning around me unless a high level's in my group, or there just happens to be a high level that was already there, and the enemy level spawn at his level, and then I run up to that, they're going to be his level still. So... That's going to be a GG, but this is kind of one of the things that I'm saying on PlayStation is kind of bad in a way. And the reason I say that is because for the game in PlayStation, it would be better. Ooh, hello there, leg leg. Mm. Mm. It would be better if we, uh, you know, ran into players that were lower levels so when we find games it shouldn't be like 20 level 100s and only like three low levels it should be like one super high level guy on the map and 25 
low levels. So that way, when I go in and play, I can see if they want genuine help. Like, hey man, I see you're kinda new. Do you need some help? I can I'm throw going this stuff to get on sleep, talk to you later night, guys. But apart from that, it's all good. But we do need lobbies with more new people in them and not lobbies with level 100s. Especially since I'm a helpful person, I don't want to be going into a level 100 when I'm a level 100 and just being like, yo, bro, your day's good. Just roam around, do bullshit, I guess. We need to actually be able to, you know, find those lower levels and, you know, make it a little bit better. Purified water, Salisbury steak, fancy dog food. The old tavern, the church. <laughs> All right, cardboard standees, got you. They're gone. But yeah, we need a little bit more, you know, else. stuff a behind it. I was attacked by oh, that's them. Chloe. That's a that's a dog of hers. A okay. Person, Noise. But it had these green glowing lesions, and its voice, Oof. angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And so guys, expected I just like killing anything I see that is, uh, wildlife. But, yeah. Um. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the responders. Alright, hold on. Looks like this this is making me stop because I don't like talking over people. And I mean, I get it's a game, but I don't want to hear that. I'm sorry, I just do not want to hear it. Thank you. Oh, that's a GG. Somebody built a floating base. Uh, over here. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but... This unit will not be accepted. It's just one of those things that could be made better. And I do mean better, because that aesthetically does not look good at all. It goes from metal to, like... Con like, you know, fucking bricks. Uh if you're gonna make it metal, make it all metal. If you're gonna make it brick, make it all brick. Or do brick and wood and that's it. Like brick and wood is fine, but don't do metal. And demonic. That's a GG. Um Kimberly, good night, demonic. Good night, Kimberly, get some sleep, rest well. See you tomorrow. But yeah, guys, it's that type of thing. It's just mm mm. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, my eyes are now hurt. I'm sorry, my soul has been split into another fourth. I'm kidding, it has not. My soul is full. Um, but yeah, just, just that needs an enhancement overall. But it's fine. Um, I can only build out, build out of wood because this character doesn't have the other stuff, but that's fine. But for those who doesn't have Discord, doesn't know how to get it, or doesn't have enough room, I will verbally say every material that is good to pick up and scrap over stream. So sorry guys if this is going to be a bit boring, but I'm going to go ahead and do this for those who doesn't have a chance. So if I go to top items to loot under my thing, best items to scrap, alarm clocks, lamps, clipboards, aluminum cans, Hot plates, telephones, adjustable wrenches, desk fans, silver pocket watches, gold pocket watches, typewriters, all dumbbells, batteries, pencils, globes, handcuffs, tongs, toy cars, toy trucks, cameras, kitchen scales, flip lighters, coolant caps, aluminum canisters, diner trays, all duct tape, and all wonder glue. Then other items needed is like fusion cores, stim packs, radex, and rat away. So it does tell you guys those are the items that are usually good for loot. Um, now stim packs, you don't want to use a regular stim pack every time you go. So for instance, if I go underneath this and go to item and well not radio item and aid, and I see this stim pack here, it's better to make a stim pack uh, diluted. Than a regular stim pack because I can make four stim pack diluteds from that if I run the right perks. 
and I'd have four stim packs instead of just one. And anyways, usually the health I'm at now is about the health you're going to be stimming yourself at, which is enough for a diluted to cure and not an actual stim pack stim pack. So yeah, it's just one of those type of things, guys. Dilute your stim packs, don't use a full one. But the reason I'm not healing up right now is because I'm trying to get my uh, character to lose a little bit more health during combat. And then I'll use a full one about like maybe another fourth of my health goes. That way to get my full health back with one full stim pack. Um, and I don't even have to do that either because under aid, um, as you guys can see I got inert flux which is good for water. But if I go ahead and eat the uh, canned dog food here, you guys will see my health will go up a little bit as well. So now my health is going to go up and my food is going up as well. There we go. So now my character's back at full. It's good to loot whenever you go around areas, loot for food and drink. Um, if you don't have a garden, just to make sure that you got food and drink. Um, the best I can also say for XP wise, guys, is don't go where I'm going. Uh, hold on. Yeah, don't go out this way of the map. Um, I want to turn and take a right, and I want to go down towards here where the uh, survival tent for Solanera's survival tent is. Because I can go here, clear, uh, clear the enemies here, walk down this way, clear the enemies here, walk this way, clear the enemies here, walk over to this one and clear these enemies, walk over here, clear these, walk back up here, clear these, and then rotate all the way back to the medical center. And then keep walking in that circle and make sure you're not fast traveling. You're actually walking it. Because by the time you get there to each place and keep going around, the enemies ha will respawn and have respawned. So you can actually keep killing them and keep uh, gaining your XP. While doing that, also make it a journey every now and then down to this location. Because a lot of enemies will spawn there. It's Blood Eagles. Uh, they will shoot and they are a little hard for new players. So do be mindful of that. Um, the reason I'm saying go here and go over here, because it's more likely going to be scorched. Yes, it's guns, but it's a little bit more easier. So let's go over here and fast travel to his tent. And we're going to go down to uh, medical center. Actually, I might cut the medical center just because I don't like going to it. it it's just not one of the things I 100% like going to. It's just something that you guys can do if you guys don't mind doing it. But I'm going to bypass the medical center, and I'm going to go straight to Camden Park. Um, and I'm going to kill the Scorched that's there. If I can, I might die multiple times. But we're going to go for the Scorched and see how we do. What is up, Demonic? So, yes, that's kind of what I'm going to do to level my character. But it's all good. Let's get trial. Money. Oh, hold on. Someone joined and it's not showing their chat. Give me one second. Let me refresh my chat. There we go. Typical six, oh, zero, six, nine. Typical. Welcome to stream. Welcome to the channel. And what is up, Typical? How are you doing, man? Um, my boy. Oh, his tent's right here. I am blind as a bat. So we're gonna go right here and we're gonna drop off my junk into this because there's nothing to scrap my stuff here and I want that to hold on to my junk for now. Um, you guys can go down here at Super Muties, and sometimes they have a minigun and new players. That's going to be quite hard to clear, but we are actually going to go the opposite direction and go to Camden Park. So we are going to go this way. And we're going to go to Camden Park is the name. What do you mean, welcome to the Chanel IV? Been here and we played Rainbow. Oh, um, typical. I say welcome to the stream to everyone, even the people who are returning. If you would like me to say welcome back to our streams, just let me know. But I usually just welcome everyone in, even if they've been here or not, just so that way they always get the welcome message, even on people that's been here before. Just let me know on which one you'd prefer. Just the welcome or the other one. I'd just say the welcome, but... If you want me to say welcome back, I'll start saying welcome back. They're typical. It's up to you. And we are going this way. Actually, let me make sure I'm not going the wrong way. I'm going the correct way. Alright. Well, alright, that makes more sense. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. 
That way, the people that come to my channel don't think I'm just ignoring them or forgot about them. That's the reason I do it, typical. Just so that way they're like, oh, he's welcoming me back even though he's already welcomed me. What a good streamer. Alright. But we are going down to Camden Park. Uh, that's the medical center, I think, right down there. Um, <clears throat> I have no clue what that was. I heard a noise, and I kept going the opposite direction. Like, fuck that shit. I'm out! Because most of the stuff on this side is, uh, especially up here, is going to be higher in level. That's good for XP, but that's bad for me having to die, run all the way back here, die, run all the way back here till I kill them. So, we're kind of just chilling out a little bit on that. And that was more likely going to be mole miners, which are actually kind of Yeah, my hard channel is smaller, so I remember everyone that joins mine. All good, typical. Uh, I remember most, like, people with really easy names to remember, I'll remember it. But if it's something that is not that easy to remember, uh, that's a yikes. I mean, I'll remember you if I play with you a, a lot, or you join stream a lot. But for your first time coming in, uh, I might not. Just for the fact that, like, you know, I always have bad, like, I've always had a problem with, like, remembering people's names. Um, but it gets better when I play or see you a lot, and then my memory will be there. But it's just one of those type of things, man. It's nothing personal against anyone. It's just for the fact, like, it's easier for me to remember people, uh, that come around a lot than it is people who just come in every now and then just for the fact I see the ones that come in a lot and it's easier to remember their names because I'll see it a lot type deal croquet let's see yeah Camden it was Park. a bit ago that we played but you taught me more about Daisy ah okay typical noise <clears throat> what's up there Brenda well, Brenda I'm, I'm kidding I'm not gonna be that type of person That's a yikes. Mr. Fuzzy! I'm positive you're having fun here at Camden Park. We're gonna go this way. <clears throat> because the items I'm going for is on this side of the park. Through the traps that's over here. Not that one. This one. Right here, boys. We're gonna go ahead and disarm. Disarm. There is a tripwire trap right here, so we're just going to hit it and walk back just to make sure that we activate it, but we don't get hit by it. A Nuka-Cola Quantum. And the reason we're in here, guys, is because <clears throat> of over here. So if we go right over here, this guy will have one right underneath his little arm there. You guys can see submachine gun. If we go to the right underneath the second one. Submachine gun. Ooh, it's the back super and a stim pack. Uh, don't worry about that. Lockpick isn't there yet. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Bobby pin box definitely will need that. <clears throat> Although, that for a bobby pin box? Really? I feel like that needs to be a little bit better. Um, 45, we'll take the gunpowder, leave the arrow, and another reason I wanted to make this character is because if I go to weapons right quick, guys, I don't have that other fucking stupid gun, the, uh, <clears throat> gun that keeps spawning in ammo for it, and I haven't done the mission, so I don't have to have the gun, which is good, in a way. So while you're out and about, guys, just loot everything, like aluminum cans, uh, the yellow canisters. I'm not worried about boiled water, because I can get... Well, actually, this character can't get the other one just yet, so I'll do the boiled. Um, loose gears, orange canister, boiled water, and the canister. I'm not going to worry about the brew, but I'll take the can. I'll take the purified water, the boiled water, and that canister. Alright, let's see. I'll take this. Come over here. The combination wrenches. We'll take them. 
and we're going to scrap. So right here, scrap all junk, except, and now we're going to go to weapons, and we're going to scrap this, which you guys can see, I unlocked the suppressor, scrap it again, and I've unlocked the glow sights for the weapon. And that's why you always want to grab multiple of the same weapon type, is to scrap it and learn the stuff that it can give you. I'm not going to worry about psycho, uh, I'll take this, take that, and take that. Uh, I'll take 45 rounds and the pre-war money. Let's see. Not going to worry about that any. Oh. You know what? I think this one doesn't have the power armor. So now I have the power armor. And actually I can't enter it because I need to at least be a level 35 for all bits of this armor. So I'll just go ahead and take it off. Enter the power armor. <clears throat> right, like so. Now, my new character has power armor. Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. And this is what I look like now. I look like a freaking, like, robot that just got robbed of everything. Like a retard. Like, like a fucking, uh, stupid ass bot. <laughs> my character's a stupid ass bot. Alright, that's a... Ooh, sweet tea, mute fruit. Definitely will take that. I love me some tea, boys. Ooh, a stealth boy. Ooh. Fusion cell, a 10 millimeter round. Brahmin hide. Ooh. Bobblehead for strength. The combination wrench, the hide again. We're gonna come down here and pick up all this item. We're going to grab the can. I'm not going to worry about the Mr. Fuzzy stuff with a tie. And this power armor might run out soon, so I'm going to go ahead and just, like, step out of it. Because, well, that's a yikes. Let's collect it. And for you guys who don't know, I changed my keybinds. I'll go over that in a second. But... For you guys who play Call of Duty, I made my keybinds a little bit more towards, like, Call of Duty-ish. So that way, um, everything is a little bit easier for me. Like, I can sit here and do this, or crouch with this, and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is go to Pause. Uh, don't go to Social. Go to Menu. You're gonna go to Settings. And you're gonna go to Controls. And then right here, you're just going to swap some of these controls out. As you can see, my sneak is circle, my bats is L1, my sprint is L3, my jump is X, POV and workshop is still that, pit boy is that, map is this. So you guys can see, it's all about the same. <clears throat> There's just a couple controls I switched out. So to do that, all you have to do is, like, if you want to make a control, uh, like sneak, you would click on it. And then it'll say, press the button that you want, and you just press circle. And then now sneak is circle. So if I go into the game, you guys can see like sneak now is circle. I can crouch with circle instead of having to click this button in. So now that's more of like power attacks. My power attack is right three than <clears throat> doing this now. So right three is my power attacks now. And this is regular attacks. But yeah. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that, so if you guys want to make it like X is jump, circles crouch, R1 is inventory, L1 is vats, you guys are able to do that. Ooh, a hot dog. And these are the actual bad hot dogs, aren't they? Yeah, and I can't eat these without doing that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Clearing my throat. But yeah, it's just one of those type of things, guys, that it's simple to play the game once you learn the game you learn where certain things are you can go get them but i am not going to do the quest line that is for this location right here this is called tune to the top of the world radio signal this is the top of the world um if you do this quest you will get the king god gun that you know i get stuck with occasionally which is like dart weapon or whatever the fuck it's called and it gets annoying and you have to carry it in your inventory to complete the quest to turn it in or be able to stash it because right now i can't do either i can't drop it i can't stash it so i am just stuck with the weapon in my inventory which is taking carry weight 
So, yeah, that's why I wanted to make a brand new fucking character. To get that fucking thing out of my inventory, because I didn't want to go do the quest. I don't want to have to go around and do that quest and complete it. Especially after how bugged the quest was. I killed the, uh, the thing it said to kill. I killed the thing it said to kill. And... It decided to say I didn't. It was like, oh, running away with the best thing you could have done. When I actually killed the King Deathclaw, I literally went in my power armor, knifed it to death with my vampire's blade. Well, it was a vampire's bowie knife. I knifed it and killed it. Alright, I literally killed the Deathclaw. Quest says nothing, so I gotta walk away. Running away is the best option you could have done. Uh, I killed it. And you're gonna sit there and say I ran away. My ass right now is hella confused. Because I did not run away. I killed it. Its body is laying here dead, lifeless corpse. And you're gonna say I ran away. It was very sad, boys. Very sad. But yeah, it's another reason I don't want to do that thing. Because I don't want to, you know, go through one side of it and kill it. And then it's like, oh, you ran away. Or, here are some raiders. You'll gain a thousand XP for killing them. Or you can run away. It's your choice. You kill them. Thank you for running away. You're not getting your thousand XP. Even though you have killed them. We're going to say you ran away. As you guys can see, I'm versing up level 10s here. I'm not versing level 50s. So when you're by yourself and you're a low level, you get the lower level enemies, the ones that you actually should be able to uh, handle. So yeah. Ooh, the balls. Good way of getting some wood is from these. Sorry, so. I am back. My phone died. You're all good there, uh, typical. It's all good. I was just going over some of the things that happen in-game that has happened that I did not like. And why I don't want to do a specific quest. Ooh. Painting a radiation symbol on something kids play with. That is... that's a yikes fallout. Big yikes. Alright, there's usually a form of an animal over here to kill. And there's three this time. Your toxic booty out of here. Let's let my AP regen. A little bit here. I mean caution, I mean caution. I'm hidden. Nice. Let my AP rebuild. Nicely. I don't need a lot of AP. I just need a little bit. And it's in this section of this. Which means I'm going to build my AP all the way up. There we go. 15 XP. Not bad. I'm not gaining a lot of XP. Because again it's not high levels. And I don't have 4 people in my team. Which is very bad. We have a lot of people on a server, usually. As you can see, there's like, you know, two there, a third one, a fourth one, a fifth, a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, because there's actually a player right next to me, a level 100. Um, and none of them are joining my team to help. Especially the dude who literally came over here, um, I guess to kill me. He's going to try and kill me because he's a level 100, but he's not joining my team, but he came to the location I'm at, which is very, very bad. But let's go ahead and make this dude waste his time because, oh, he's no longer here anymore. He teleported away. That's fine. I'm going to go right here back to my camp, and we're going to scrap and store the items that need to be scrapped and stored. Nice.
So yeah, it's just one of those type of things. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> and can Monster Energy stop doing stuff for Halo Infinite, please? If you're going to do stuff for a game, at least do it for a game that is worth doing it for. It's like Call of Duty, Fallout, you know, do it towards the good games. The games everyone play. Especially since I drink a lot of Monster Energy, I don't want Monster doing it for Halo, because I don't play Halo. If you're going to do it for Halo, put it on maybe the blue can or the red can. Let the green can be for something like double XP for COD, or double XP for Fallout would be great, or something like that. That would be much, much better. But yeah, this is an open community base, by the way, guys. I made it for the community. It comes with every table. So people can go do their thing. You can do food. It has the scrap box and all that goody goods. But we are going to go to ammo and drop off some of this ammo I don't need. Into this box. Because I don't carry all my ammo on me. I only carry the ammo for the gun that I'm using, and right now I'm using a knife. Let's pull the kitchen skull out. Let's go over here. We're going to go to junk. And we're going to scrap all my junk. There we go. Now we can go back into here. We're going to go junk. And we're just going to place all this stuff in. Perfect. Right like that, boys. Hello. MTZ plays. What's up, MTZ? How you doing? How's your day? Welcome to stream. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining, MTZ. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I made a little community thing. It, it's not the best looking thing out there, guys. I know it is not. My eyes hurt to this too. Trust me, it does. But it's a place that people can get off the ground, up in. You know, do their crafting and stuff up there, and it's actually kind of in a non-bad area, because nothing usually attacks here, usually. It's a really good area to build at. So, yeah. Um, no, my house is the same. Nah, my house is the same. Oh, nice. Emoji happy tears. <laughs> oh, this isn't my main, by the way, MTZ. Actually, if you want to see my main, I'll switch over and show you my main character's base. It's freaking ridiculously good. I just chose this to be for my low-level character. Let me go to my main, and I'll show you that base, because I want to see what you think of it. I kind of actually do. I want to see what everyone thinks of it, to be honest. But I'll show you my main, and then we'll plop right back over to my character that I'm trying to get leveled a little bit. So we're going to go to character. We're going to go All to... Right. Demonic, which is my main, and click play. MTZ, alright? Oh, nice. Good. But, uh, my main base is the one I love the most. Now, I don't have much building room on it anymore because I basically filled the building up, but... I want to see what you think. Now, one thing I put to the side because I didn't want to put it on the main door because, you know, not everyone wants their radiation removed, especially people who do bloody builds, so I thought about that a little bit. So I made it where kind of bloody like bloody builds can enter my base if I have shops or something, or if we're just playing together and my friends are bloody builds, they're not being trolled by me by going through something that removes radiation and grants them health when they're playing a bloody build. So I kind of put it to the right on the outside a little bit so those players that want their radiation removed can just walk right into it, get the radiation removed, but the bloody build characters won't. So I made my base friendly towards every player. But I'm going to show you my main. And why does this say level 5? That is a yikes. <laughs> also guys, I'm drinking Monster Energy. So if you hear me sipping on something, oh. it's Monster Energy. It's not alcohol. But I always get stored out here. It's quite weird. Don't worry about it too much though. We're going to come right over here and wait for this amazing beauty to load in. Ah, uh, come on, door. Thank you. 
Alright, so we got our water stuff, and we got our, you know, decontamination chamber. So if you're a bloody build, you don't have to worry about getting your radiation removed because it's not right on my door. Uh, we kind of made it like the swampy outback type feel, like a very outback swamp house. But when you enter, you'll be able to come in here. I used to have a shop right here and a shop right here, but I kind of removed it because I wanted to plant more gourds. And I ran out of space, so let me remove these carpets right quick so they're not just random carpets so i still left the jukebox in the center which i do want to turn off for right now hold on there we go all right uh well that's switching out we're good um we do got two shops here for later if i do want to start selling we got the personal computer and stuff right there i did have a shop here and a shop here so everything was full but no, i kind of removed way. those for the extra space for gourds but we have all the tables. I even made Beckett look better than he ever has before. Let's be honest. Um, we got the Ginny. And then if you come up top, this is where things become really beautiful to the eyes. I took the time to switch every no. chair to face the table. Kind of looks like a table with a cloth. We got the lamp around the back. You know, we got our little containers here display with the uh, new... You know, Nuka Shine. I used so one Nuka Shine because my bowl was empty. I guess people's been drinking it. So I had to use one of my Nuka Shines from the display to put into the bowl. And someone drank that. So I need to do Nuka Shine again. But we have, however, you know, another table. And I don't know why this one is bumpy. It is very, very weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure my guests have hidden some food they dropped off the plate underneath that. I'll check that later. But... <laughs> Pretty much, guys, I did make sure every seat sits in the proper direction, as you guys will see. Boom. I can set, and I'm at the table. Um, noisily. If I get off the table, he'll actually get up and face outwards. I actually took the time and done this for every single seat. We got the power armor stations along with, you know, the giant cannon here if you guys want to be able to take a can like one of the grenades from if we're in a squad and run over there and throw it at that if you guys want to take that. That's perfectly fine. But I chose this location because it's at the top right of the map. It looks like I'm sitting in the middle of a lake. Like, who wants to fast travel to a friend? It looks like they're in the lake. I am even surprised that people still play this game. I still played it too. Oh, yeah, I mean, the game is good in certain areas, but the game has its bad areas, and a lot of times the criticism goes for those bad areas just because those areas could be made better. But it looks like I'm out in the middle of the water, guys, on the map, so people don't ever want to come over here. But I have a good area to farm enemies from. Here, here, here. Like, you guys can see I'm pretty close to, like, a good amount of areas to farm from. And I do want to say and... I have my base basically in the middle of the water. It's a good location. Now, I do got to be careful because over here, there is two random spawns that can happen right here. We can have a mannequin spawn right here or, well, this is not the careful one. This is the okay one. Or the careful one, which is super mutants, high level super mutants. So that is something that you do want to take a look out for when you play and you're coming over near my base. Hence why I also got the rocket turrets, not just the uh, minigun turret. So we got, you know, minigun and rocket turrets to protect this house over here. That's not the only spawn that can happen. There's another one that's very rare, which is a Yaogwai. And it spawns right over uh, there. So that's another one, but again, we got, you know, rocket turrets for days, you know, heavy gun, minigun turrets. We even got the, yeah, just re uh, heavy minigun turrets. I don't have any of the regular, which is fine. And they go all the way around my base almost. So they're there to defend against the natural spawns that spawn here occasionally. And You're trust stacked. me, it does. But yeah, I, I'm stacked there, uh, MTZ. Um, one thing I do use on this character, which is not a very overpowered build since I don't use bloody, but I do like the uh, type of weapons for it, and they are what I'm collecting, is going to be two-shot explosive, and that's what this AK right here is, guys. It's a two-shot explosive AK. Um, I do want a two-shot ex- I want every one of my guns to be a quad two-shot explosive. That would be great for me. And then I'll also need to make sure, you know, I carry enough ammo for days. But um, to show Damn. you how stacked I am, that says 9999. But if I actually go over to ammo, 
Not Here's how much ammo I have for the AK. Evaluation complete. Naughtiness yeah. levels exceed all protections. So that's but the amount of ammo I have for the AK. Hence why I'm rolling around with the AK. Um, two shot MOG flushed face. Oh yeah, it, it's it's two shot, my boy. Hold on, let me let me just uh go ahead and oh, you oh, know oh, show you. Happy holidays and a loading. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Bars open, ladies and gents. Got the good stuff right here. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> That's not the only two shot I have. Uh, I just don't have a lot of ammo for it. Why I'm not carrying it? But let me go find it. It's down here. Um, it looks uh, up. Oh yeah, it looks op. Oh, it is op. I'll show you against some level 50s in a second, and maybe level 100. But I do have a quad prime Gauss rifle, which I don't use as much. Uh, where is it? I do need to get the submachine guns out of here. I meant to scrap those. We'll do that later. Where is it? It's my... right here. I have this. And I have this. Come on. So if I quickly go into my thing... Uh, this I'm gonna get rid of, but I have this right here, a three-star, two-shot marksman, 10-millimeter submachine gun, bullets explode for area damage, shoots an additional projectile. I also have a two-shot radium rifle, shoots an additional projectile, your VATS critical meter fills 15% faster, and 25% faster fire rate. So yeah, I do have extra two shots in my uh, chest here. And this is the damn weapon I was telling you guys about that I don't like in my inventory. I don't want to go do the quest to get it removed from my inventory. I'm too lazy. Hence why I made a whole brand new other Error. character. I don't Thanks like that weapon being in my inventory. It's extra weight. Naughty children. But yeah, guys, it's just one of those things that's really good. Do you just kill enemy S or do quests to get those legendaries? Uh, I kill enemies, to be honest. I don't really do much towards the quest line because, well, I just, you know... I... Quests are good, but sometimes they're really, really lengthy, and I just don't like having lengthy quests. Now, stuff like the events that can pop around, like, uh... Father Winter, or, you know, stuff like that I'll go do, or we'll say the Halloween one I'll go do, but <clears throat> apart from, Then you like, lucky, lol. Oh, I'm very lucky, but my, act, this right here, actually, my friend had two of them that I just met not too long ago, and he's like, dude, I have an extra two-shot AK, two-shot explosive AK, do you want it? I was like, dude, I don't have much caps on this character anymore for me, you know, doing the whole presence thing and doing that. I actually ended up getting those caps off of Hold on. Alright. I actually ended up getting those presents, um, well, not presents, but caps off of the daily thing over here. Not daily, but, uh, what is it called? This, the scoreboard. See, I'll show you. I haven't really played much on this one, but right here, see? 2,500 caps. I ended up getting that off Jeez, of that. Jeez, you ended his life, lol. Oh, yeah. Um, this gun is ridiculously strong. Hence why I like two-shot explosive. Um, let's go over here, and we're actually going to go where all the combat is. Because there will be a guy right there, as you guys can see. A level 100 mutant gladiator. Uh, let me do one more thing just to make sure I'm not that squishy. Alright, here we go. Let's enter it. Oof. There's a lot of these guys around right now. But, let's make sure I'm not squishy. You know what I mean, boys? And let's go deal with these guys. Well, Marcy, if you would, uh, you know, jump, that would be great. Let's go in. And show you guys. Oh, we got a melee guy, and he's like, right I am there. only level three zero, and you go against level one zero zero enemy. There's a level sixty obliterated, three hundred XP. Oh, you want to get some? Level seventy five. Let's reload. Oops. There's the tower.
power armor. That's a GG. I missed a couple of those shots. That's a big GG for me. Let's just go over here. Level 75 dead. Let's go up top and go deal with that one dude that was up top. What's up, mutant hounds? It's dead. <laughs> Where you at, big boy? I know you're here somewhere, because I just seen you when you were standing right here. Oh, there you are. Let's go ahead and use one stem. Look at that health, boys. That's one mag from this. Oops. Oh, you already tried to hit me, big boy. And he is dead. There's 586 XP as well from that. Missile, right away. I did not mean to pick the missile up. <laughs> I was reading right away and pressed uh, triangle on it, which triangles my take, so I need to uh, go to ammo right You have and drop two zero missiles. zero stim packs, MOG flushed face. Oh, that's the. Hold on, I'll show you guys. If I go to uh, aid right quick. Ah, uh, scroll down. Boy, I only have five. MOG rolling on the floor oh. laughing. <laughs> 187 stim pack diluted and 44 stim packs. And the reason I have so many stim packs, my dude, I'll actually show you why. Let me go back to my base. So we'll fast travel back in a second. Ooh, actually, there's another enemy. Where are you at? I hear you. I know I heard an enemy. Where are you at? The explosive water animation. Oh, boys, that's great. All right, now let's go back to my base now that I've cleared it. Oh, it was even more hectic the other day. I'll let you know that now, but let's go ahead right here. We're right back to our base, which will be teleporting me in 13 seconds. Let's get a drink. Now, this is a non-bloody build by the way guys and i'm just eating through level 100s like it's nothing um to be honest with you it could be even better if i was a bloody build so i lowered my health had high radiation ran the proper perk cards for armor in the bloodies build and then ran a bloodied weapon it would be so much better i'd be one tapping these level 100s pretty much Oh, I'm still in power armor. I need to go out this way first. Because I need to make sure I don't get stuck in my house, which is right there. And then we just go this way. The only downside to being inside power armor is that you're going to be in the water and not swimming. But, let me get out of my power armor, because I'm not using my thing for power armor just yet, I don't think. So I don't want to use up my cores too fast. Well, I am going to go to sleep, have a good night and good stream. Typical. Well, I'm going to go to sleep, have a good night and good stream. Thanks, Typical. Thanks, man. You have a good night. Um, let's see. Purified water. Purified water. Purified water. And purified water. Now I can show you guys how I do the extra stems and how I get so many stems. So once you learn the uh, a certain blueprint, you'll be able to come over to your Kim station. But before we do that, let's go search my perks right quick because I think I will have to put it on. You guys are going to need a super duper at a high level. Uh, this is a 20% chance. I'd prefer the three, but I don't want to lose these and accidentally oh, lose my uh, drink just, stuff uh, I purchased. So that's why oh, I'm running a level no, two one and not a level oh, three. Oh, but no, we're going to go over to, I think it's under hard bargain, died. isn't it? Well, not under hard bargain, but charisma. Oh, no, it's under Garab. this. I think. Gunsmith? Oh, yeah, right here, right here. Um, we're going to remove power patcher to add on chemist. And then from Chemist and my other perk that you've seen, if I come over to the Chem Station... Crap. Dang, so many perks. Oh yes, a lot of perks, my boys. But we're going to head over to Healing, and then right here, you can see it says times 4, and then if it procs, that's times 8. So let's just make a few. It procced on the first go. That's great. So you guys can see, we're just going to keep on going. I made the challenge score. I still got a perk card pack, which I'll open in a second. With your gift. This unit 
it win again. We'll see how many times that goes before I open my inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and go claim my rewards right quick. Um, we're going right here. We're going to hit claim on this. And now we're working towards that, which is okay. Now, I didn't hear it go off anymore. So now let's go look at my regular stem packs. Stim well, stem pack diluted. 310. Now, guys. With 15 regular stem packs left. So, that's how I keep my uh, stems high, by the way, guys. Emoji flushed face. <laughs> so, yes, guys. That's how you keep a lot of stems. Now, for... A lot of new players, I wouldn't say hold a lot of stems, you don't need cams to because you guys don't have cams. this one single perk I do, which is Traveling Pharmacy. Weights of all cams, including stem packs, are reduced by 90% of their weight. If you guys don't have this, then... So cool. Alright, thanks there, uh, MTZ. But if you guys don't have that perk, stems are going to weigh you down a lot. But Jolly. thanks for the sub there, uh, MTC, and thanks for saying that I'm cool, man. I try to be helpful to most players, and I try my best to, you know, Hello, put out some good streams. But there are occasional times where if I'm playing, like, Rainbow or Call of Duty, and, I, and I'm really having a bad day, and I run into that camper, and I go off on that camper with words that I probably shouldn't say. <laughs> it does happen. But, yeah. But if you guys are into the game, um, a lot... And you guys are wanting I to get... You. Oh, yeah. If you guys are into the game a lot, and say you guys are wanting the mutations, I'm not going to make you pay me 10,000, 20,000, 15,000 caps. Just get me the items I need to make the uh, stuff I for you. I those streams. Oh, yes. Of this unit's exterior, the I feel you. Thanks, some TZ. Should... And someone else, oh, yeah, there we go, Lunatic, I remember those streams, oh yes, Luna. But uh, pretty much, if you guys want, and I need to go over here to do this, and I need to fix my perks back out in a second, but I have the mutation serums right here, if you guys are needing any of these serums, um, I'm going to show you two perks you are going to need to uh, run these serums, and a third perk is just optional, and you guys, if you want to run it, I run it, because it's really good. But all you guys have to get me is the antiseptic, the plastic, the ultrasite, and the different fluxes for each serum. As you guys see, I can scroll through, and I will craft you these serums. You don't have to pay me. You just got to make sure you get the items that crafts it, and I will, you know, do that. Now, again, with those crafting of the serums, don't look at the left side. The left side is what I have. So, for instance, if I... Not here, right? Mutation serums. If you guys wanted Adrenal Reaction Serum, you just need five antiseptic, five plastic, one pure cobalt flux, and one ultracite. If you guys got me that, I will make you an Adrenal Serum. Um, same as, like, with the other serums, just go through, see what they require, and I will... And hand me the items to craft it. I will craft it and give it to you. And actually, the cool thing with that is you're helping me out as well. Because I can also help out your friends if you guys, you know, have friends that need it as well. Because I have a perk on right now. Uh, again, Chemist. Right here, you get double the quantity when you craft Chems. And I'm running a super duper. So I could easily end up getting two, three um, mutations per craft if I get lucky. So... I'll be able to get a good amount of mutations, so I can help you and your friends out if you guys need it. Do you have the Ultracite Power Armor thing? Sorry, I don't know yes. how to spell it. Oh, Ultracite Power Armor. You're talking about... Yes, I do, actually. Um, I forget exactly which one it is. It might be this one, the T45. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I'm running the War Rider onto it, but let's see. If I hover so over... It might have renamed it because of the War Rider. Um, or it might be... Hold on. Because I did rename my armors. So, sorry guys, but I did go through and rename them. But I have multiple types. I have the T-51B. I have the T-60. I have the X-01. Oh, here we go. War Rider Ultrasight. Um, I'm gonna it quickly... has a T51 blueprint. Where there you go, guys. Warrider no, Ultrasight Left Arm. 
I so yes, I do have the ultrasight one, by the way, guys. And I do have the, you know, T45. I have a regular T51B. I'll actually show you them all. So I also have the Red Rocket Ranger torso for some of these. But some of these I actually kept the regular paint because I put the Nuka-Cola uh, power armor paint onto it. Or the Nuka-Cola Quantum power armor paint to it. So I do have, you know all these different power armors um the red so, rocket yeah. one is long favorite long favorite oh nice but i gotta put all these back up before i uh you know have that one returned to my inventory so peril this one this one 60 seconds it's nice there we go and now we can collect this one and put it back into my inventory. I like the Raider power armor, the one that you've seen me in. I like it more over the Red Rocket Ranger, but everyone has their own preference. But yeah, the the War Rider. Do you have a schedule on when you stream? Um, I usually like to stream every day, but here lately, uh, there's some days that I feel like is just really, really bad days when I play games. So I don't stream on those days just because I don't want to make really, really you know bad videos or boring videos or videos where you just hear me constantly yelling over like, you know, a camper setting in a corner or you know some really bad players in games that play the games to the point where you want to scream at them um especially like in rainbow six siege if i have teammates that i'm just like guys he's coming from the north and it's like just a no bro i am so like good whenever you stream mog thumbs up Alrighty, sweet mtz and again thanks for joining the channel man you've been pretty chill if you ever want to play um just let me know because i do play with my subs and give me a Accessing. second Naughty. Nice. So, Parameters. right, I'll Loading. make a, okay, you know what, I'll make Complete. one of these just so I can Ready to make list. say my name. Ready to so, it's going to be a little twice. hard for you to see, but right here is mine. So, if you can see where it says that demonic underscore nice. plays by T, there is my uh, gamer tag. If you guys want to add me, just shoot me a friend request. Just make sure when you shoot me a friend request, I know it's for Fallout, and I'll put you under the Fallout category, and then we can play whenever you want. Um, as long as I'm not playing other games, streaming other games, or I'm playing with friends on other games. But if I got free time, say like I wake up in the morning, I have no plans, and you're just like, Yo, bro, can you play Fallout and help me? Or can you come play Fallout with me? I need someone to play with. I'll more than likely hop in Fallout, and I'll come chill with you. Um, and during that point, I... I will not allow other people complete. to pull from that time. Naughtiness. If I'm playing Fallout because you asked me, um, I'll come over and play Fallout to either A, I get tired of Fallout, or until uh, I really just get 100% tired of Fallout. <laughs> Alright, let's see. For that day or so. Now, I do play DayZ, I play COD, I play Fallout, I play a lot of other games as well. And there's times where I'm going to spend time with one of my lady friends or she'll ask me for a day where it's just me and her or just me, her, and her kids. And I will take those days and only spend it with Energy her and her kids. Tears. So I do have days that is like that. So yeah, if you guys want to add me, it's right there in front of you. It's demonic underscore plays YT. Um... All you have to do is add me, even at the bottom left, actually, this is better. Bottom left next Stop to 126 rooting. is my gamer tag. So we'll remove the picture, the 126, and the 3 for the card on the Total end, and there's my gamer tag for society. you. Um, oh, add me on PlayStation, oh, oh. and I will play with you guys if you want to play. I actually totally forgot about the uh, squad names to the left. I'm not going to lie on that one. But yeah, let's get back over to my low level and continue playing my low level. Um, I did eat and drink on this character, which is good. So let's go ahead and leave world, switch back to my low level, and plop back into a world. And I might end stream soon just so I can eat because like, I don't like eating when I'm streaming because then you hear that. Or the. Like me trying to chew with my mouth closed as well. So... Yeah, and plus it's spaghetti, so if I have like a spaghetti noodle, it misses my mouth, it kind of hangs out of it, and you hear the <sighs> for me slurping it, it it's just, no. <laughs> so I might end stream a little bit uh, sooner for this stream, guys, just so I can eat my spaghetti. 
um, and drink my monster energy. But after I eat, I will start another stream. I don't know if it's going to be a Fallout one because if it takes me like 30 minutes to an hour to eat spaghetti and I get tired of Fallout because I'm running by myself or I'm leveling a low character and I'm not getting that much XP over time and it gets boring, then more than likely I might go play some Rainbow Six Siege, DayZ, or COD. But I'll do a stream on one of those games if it's not Fallout. But I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the stream. As always, smash the like, subscribe button if you haven't already yet. Don't forget the bell icon to get notifications of my future streams for other games or even Fallout. If you guys are stuck to my Fallout, you'll get a notification. Demonic is streaming Fallout. Or if you guys don't mind which videos that I make for different games, you just want to come in and join the streams, it'll literally say Demonic is playing R6 or something like that. So don't forget that. Emoji and thumbs I up. will always love every one of you guys who support me because my channel wouldn't be as good as it is if it wasn't for you guys. Until next time, stay awesome.